Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Tracy again here at TM Diecast Reviews. Today I got a real treat for you. This here is a 1971 Plymouth Roadrunner. Uh, it's 118 scale. Made by Auto World. It's another one of my um, brother in law's fine examples that he found. This car he got off of Summit Racing, out of the Summit Racing catalog. For 70 bucks. Yeah. So he's been lucky here lately. He's been finding some cars that are super expensive any other where on the internet or whatever. And uh, he's just finding them really good, cheap. So, this thing's got a lot of dust on it. It's been sitting out of its box for a week, trying to wait on the darn sun to come out. The weatherman here has been saying, it's going, it's going to be out this week, it's going to be out this week, and it ain't come out at all. It's been cloudy and really poopy, and uh, so finally, we finally, after seven days of waiting, we've got us some sun. So, I shouldn't have let it sit out, but that's all right. Beautiful, gorgeous car. Let me show you the box. Auto World. One of 1,002 made. Nice. Nice car. Well packaged. Very nice car. Cool thing about the auto world is they put some, uh, some, some history of the car on there. So I'm going to show you a little bit of it. If you want to pause it and look at it later, you can. This looks a lot like the Plymouth, uh, or the, what is that? The, who made that satellite? The Plymouth Satellite looks a lot like the Satellite, but you know, much more powerful car. Um, like I said, he got it for like 70 bucks out of the Summit catalog, Summit Racing catalog. They had a sale on it, and he said it was around 100 bucks most of the time. But he just decided to pick this one up because he liked the color on it, it's different. And uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, this is an expensive car on the internet, also. Really cool car. Um, uh, to, we got wind here too, so I have to be, you know, be patient with me. The doors open real well. Trunk opens, and the hood opens. The cool thing about this car, it's got the air grabber right here on the hood. It goes up and down. That comes open. I believe it vacuum worked. At higher speeds, and all four barrels, a carburetor opens up. I believe that opens that up, so they take in more air. Um, wheel spinning really good. No front suspension. No rear suspension. That's really neat. I don't know what that says. Well, that's really cool. Here's the front of the car. Got the Roadrunner's head there from, from, from Looney Tunes on there. But look at that. You have your fog lights here, or turn signals rather, that's got plastic. They're not paint, there's like a plastic, a plastic piece there, a separate plastic piece. Turn signals on the side, now these are painted. Of course, the 446 pack. So, Yep. Of course, the front wheels turn with steering wheel. Turn real nice. You got a gorgeous interior. It's not as detailed as the Camaros, but it is pretty, pretty good. And this one does have flocking in it, also. Yep. I think the seats move. Yep, seats tilt back and forth a little bit. Pistol grip shifter inside there. Here's the back of the car. Got a spare tire in there. Um, it's rubber, but I don't think it's removable. Look at that. You got your all your weights and everything measurements there on your on your underside of the trunk. That's really cool. Trunk mat. 
shut lines are really nice and of course your tail lights they're they're painted on they're not they're not plastic or anything hollow actually hollow pipe that's really cool and look at here it says roadrunner on the dash how neat is that good looking car big car big heavy car your door window crank and everything and then of course the hood and your engine detail of course that's a separate piece cool pink uh i don't know i guess that was a i don't know if that was a thing in the day or not but it was a cool pink horn right there warning sticker with a fan i have no idea what it says on the air cleaner <laughs> i can't see it uh, but that's just really cool. They did a great job. We got plug wires and everything. There's the underside of the car. I'm going to turn it a different way to get the information of the car. Just look at that. That's nice, ain't it? Really nice. They did a good job on it. And chrome tips at the bottom. It's really cool. Here's the information. And I'm gonna show y'all something. Maybe y'all know more about it than I do. So like I said, this is one of uh, 1002 made. This is car number 553. If you look here, it says Ertl, E-R-T-L. Made in China. I don't know if Ertl owns American uh, Auto World. Or maybe because it's American Muscle edition, it's some kind of coercion or whatever. I don't, I don't know. But I'm sure uh, one of y'all know more about it than I do. I just know this is a really cool car by them. And of course, you have the Looney Tunes here, copyright and all that good stuff. Paid homage to them. What did I say? Manufacturing location. Ding going, I don't know. I'm gonna mess that up. So y'all, y'all say it, y'all read it, y'all know how to say it better than I do. <clears throat> but it's just a gorgeous car. And it's underneath the hood. Look at there. That's weird. Why I think it's probably vacuum operated. Look at all that. Cause it looks like a actuator there. The air grabber doesn't stay up. Um, I guess if this was your car, you could glue it and make it stay up but they, we're not going to do that let's spin it around there it's, it's a beautiful car uh, it's a different color that you don't see very often but that's really nice so some brief points about it it's a 1971 Plymouth Roadrunner it's powered by I don't know what the liter size is but it's a 440 uh, cubic inch uh, V8 engine Makes 330 horsepower and 390 foot-pounds of torque. No, excuse me, 390 horsepower and 490 foot-pounds of torque. I forgot to scratch that out. Weight of this car is 3,882 pounds. I don't think I think it was a little heavier than that, but that's what I felt. Uh, top speed of the car was 128. Car would run zero to 60 in 5.5 seconds. Run a quarter mile in 14 seconds flat, and it put the power to the road via a four-speed manual transmission. It's a, if you notice there, it says 440-6. That means the 440 cubic engine dash uh, six carburetors. You have three two-barrel carburetors on there. What we like to call three deuces. So, yeah, really cool car, really, you know, neat technology for the time and everything um something you don't see all the time don't see on the internet all the time um but it's just real nice you have the road runner on the side also just really cool car so guys this is going to do it for this video if you like it please give some give it a, thum, a thumbs up if you like this channel please consider subscribing and if you do Hit that bell button so you'll be notified when the next video gets uploaded, which will probably be here very shortly. 
This is Trace again here at TNM Diecast Reviews, and uh, y'all have a good one. We'll talk to y'all soon. Bye bye.